Some time ago I posted part 1 of a tutorial on how to control LEDs with Arduino. I got a lot of positive feedback about that video. I promised the second part of that tutorial. And here it is. It will introduce another free simple LED projects. I hope you'd like this one. And if you do, like this video and subscribe to my channel. And now, without further ado, let's jump to the first project. In this one, we'll control LED with a photoresistor. We'll measure light intensity, and if it goes down beyond a certain threshold, the LED would lit. Photoresistors, also called light-dependent resistors, are resistors for which resistance changes with light intensity. In order to measure light intensity, we need to convert this change of resistance into voltage so our microcontroller can read it and react to it. The easiest way to do it is with a voltage divider circuit. A voltage divider is just two resistors in series connected between a voltage supply and ground. We read the voltage reading at the junction between the two resistors. That voltage can be calculated using the following formula. We read the voltage at Arduino analog pin A4. Let's see how all the components should be connected. We connect 5 volt and ground of Arduino to 5 volt and ground buses of the breadboard. We connect LED anode via 220 ohm resistor to digital pin 3 and LED cathode to ground. We connect one side of a photoresistor to ground and the other one through 220 ohm resistor to 5 volt. In this way we are implementing a voltage divider we talked about. We connect Arduino pin A4 to the junction between LDR and the resistor. Let's put all components on the breadboard. Now let's look at the code. Light intensity threshold variable sets the threshold for light intensity. For all the values above that threshold we will be litting the LED and for all the values below that uh, threshold we will be turning the LED off. We declare analog pin A4 to which LDR is connected as input and LED digital pin 3 as output. We open the serial port to be able to check the LDR state while running the code. In loop function we first print the value read from a photoresistor to the serial output. Then we compare this value with a threshold value. If it is greater we send the high signal to digital pin 3 to turn the LED on. Otherwise we send the low signal to turn the LED off. It's time to compile and send the sketch to Arduino board. In the code I adjusted the threshold variable to 930 to reflect current light conditions. And we can see that the average value read is around 880. The value is below 930 so the LED is off. When we cover LDR the reading goes up to around 940 surpassing the threshold and the LED is lit. Let's move to the next project. In this one, we we'll would be controlling RGB LED with the push button. We want to change the color of LED with each press of the button. RGB LED is really three LEDs squeezed into one. 
We have three legs, each responsible for lighting one of three colors, red, blue and green. The fourth leg is for connecting those LEDs to ground. Like in previous project, we connect ground and 5 volts of Arduino to 5 volts and ground buses of the breadboard. We connect one side of the push button to digital pin 3 and also to ground via 1K pull-up resistor. We connect the other side of the push button to 5 volts. We connect the ground pin of LED to ground and three signal pins to Arduino digital pins 6, 7 and 8. Now let's put all the components on the breadboard. Let's break down the sketch. Color to lit variable indicates which color should be lit at any given moment. We define interrupt on digital pin 3 of Arduino. I will not be explaining in details how interrupts works here. For this, please refer to the video I did covering this topic. Basically, Arduino listens on pin 3 and when the signal there goes from low to high, which is uh, the case when we press the button, uh, Arduino executes define function change LED color. In loop function we check what is the value of color to lit variable, e.g. when it is 1 we send high signal to digital uh, pin 6 to light up the red LED and send low signal to pin 7 and 8 to make sure blue and green LEDs are off. We proceed in similar way for two other possible values of color to lit variable. Let's see our sketch in action. The LEDs are really bright. 3D printer always comes in handy. I printed a small lampshade to help us film the end result. And we can see that with every press of the button, the LED color changes. So, mission accomplished. And now to the last project. This is a variation of one of the simplest projects, which is to fade the LED. In this one, we would use potentiometer to in turn bright up and fade out two LEDs. Till now, we use digital write method to control LED. This way, we were sending either high or low signal to the Arduino pin. This way, we could only turn LED fully on or off. We are not able to fade LED this way. In this project, we would be using analog output. With this method, we can write a range of values from 0 to 255 to Arduino pin. With zero value, LED would be off and with 255 would be fully on. With values in between, LED would be less bright. Analog output is using the pulse width modulation, also called PWM. PWM is a technique for getting analog results with digital means. Digital control is used to create a square wave, a signal switch between on and off. This on-off pattern can simulate voltages in between full-on 5 volts and off 0 volts by changing the portion of the time the signal spends on versus the time that the signal spends off. Not all Arduino digital pins support PWM. For both Arduino Nano and Uno you can use PWM with pins 3, 5, 6, 9, 10 and 11. Let's build the prototype. As usual, connect the 5 volt and ground of Arduino to the breadboard.
Connect left leg of the potentiometer to ground and the right one to 5 volts. Connect the middle leg of potentiometer to analog pin A4. Connecting anodes of two LEDs via resistors to Arduino digital pins 3 and 6 and short legs of those LEDs to ground. Now off to writing the code. LED intensity would store the current LED intensity based on the potentiometer state. Let's declare digital pins 3 and 6 and declare analog pin A4. Setting LED pins as output and potentiometer pin as input. In main loop we first calculate LED intensity. Again we are using map function to do it. To map potentiometer position range 0 to 123 to LED intensity range 0 to 255 we use analog write to lit the first LED with LED intensity value and then we lit the second LED here we take LED intensity value and subtract it from 255 this way when one LED would be fading out the other one would be brightening up Time to compile the sketch and send it to Arduino and see the results. This works very well. When one LED is fading out, the other one is brightening up. That concludes this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I am starting to work on another one, so if you don't want to miss it, click below to subscribe to my channel. I am going to see you in my next video. Bye.